Welcome back. The fog seems to have gotten denser, and the plan is to bring everyone into the city who's in the outskirt area, such as at the farm and in the mine, and we need to head over to the farm. But before we do that, we should do the rounds, see what's going on, seeing as the fog has spread. So, you know, apparently there are some worrisome events going on in the city of Roland. The royal army has been dispatched to ensure the safety of the townspeople. The Vert Bridge Squad should arrive in Roland soon. There shouldn't be any problems if we leave it to them, I think. I think. But who knows? The fog's just getting worse and worse. I've been planning to secretly enjoy some fishing after the signing ceremony, but... Hmm, can't exactly go to the nearby fishing spot in this fog. Lately, I've just been so busy, I haven't had much time to fish. Once the signing ceremony ends, I'd like some time to relax and wet my line. I can appreciate that, at least, even though I don't like fishing for the obvious reasons, but, you know, I can appreciate that. It kind of seems like the fog is just getting thicker and thicker. Dense, you might say. Today is the day of the important signing ceremony. Please, please don't let anything happen. Kind of seems like the fog is getting denser. What was that? Today is the day of the signing ceremony. I really don't want anything to happen. Oh, I can feel you there, mate. I've learned a lot from Eastern cooking methods. If you're clever, you can incorporate those techniques with Liburnium recipes. Can't just imitate. You've got to steal the good parts. All right. I've learned a lot from Eastern cooking methods. Can't just imitate. Got to steal. You take care too, Braces. Apparently the fog this morning's bad too. Still waiting to see if we get any more fishing spots for him. Hey, you're free to choose any open bed right now. After all, today is the signing ceremony. And on top of that, there's this fog. Oh yeah, we won't have any guests. If you'd like, go ahead and rest. Wait, so I can just go over? Like, based on what you said, I could just go over. Rather than pay. You seem to have lied to me, mate. I don't think this is on. It's not on at all. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where are you? It's like the fog is even denser than yesterday. You know, the air on the Grantsler side is clear as always today. I've been working here a long time, but this is my first time experiencing something like this. That's not a good sign. You'd think there would be history records about such a thing. If it was naturally occurring, of course. Oh, I forgot completely about that noise. Just, it just, 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 it's such a horrible, grindy, scratchy noise. I don't know, I don't know. The high alert status for the signing ceremony ends today. So I thought, but now I got this crazy fog. Uh, we just can't catch a break here. Yeah, is that case of... You guys are having a lot happen in these past few months, really, haven't you? And it's only getting worse. The bracer that came by the guard post yesterday was off again early this morning for the capital. Thanks to the night's rest, the traveler seemed in a much better mood. Well, that's good. Finally, the non-aggression pack signing is today. It'll be a day to remember. It's a new start with the kingdom, after all. Alright. Gotta put myself into my tasks, too. A long list. Feels like... Finding the rush... Oh, yep, yep. Seems to make sense to me. There's the fog. It's so dense, look. But it gets so dense, that's, that's the question here. Anyway, let's make our way back to the city. Should I go to Miss Wald? I feel like... I feel like I should. So it's that case of... I haven't been there and I might be missing something and we might not actually go there. I'm thinking back to what I did with the tower. I completely ignored it as an option. Previously. What the hell are you? Highcorn. A monster that paralyzes foes with its horn, then finishes them with lightning. Fire enough. 
Go dark matter. Stone Ember. Should finish it off quite nicely. this place. Especially in this fog. So dense. Just going slowly. I feel that's probably the correct way to do it. And that was always going to happen, wasn't it? Yeah, great metal hornets. <laughs> well, that's lovely. The chest is completely empty, and yet... Somehow it seems content. I know how it feels. Sometimes. You get that feeling where you've got contentment? It's just bizarre. It's just bizarre. Harken boots. The chest is empty. Please come back tomorrow at 9am sharp for your free refill. Does that work? Did someone confirm that? I could easily come back and see about that. Hello? What? Something wrong with still. I'm fine, it's nothing. Is there a road here? Maybe I'm just losing it. Could have sworn there was one. Hmm. Methinks we are coming back here later then. There once was a chest to have something in this world. Something to stand for, to care about. I was that chest before you ruined me. Sorry. It's like, yeah, there was definitely an area with water, so it's sort of like... Cause that was my whole thing with the um, fishing, is that I knew there was an area with water, so... There's definitely a road there. After minutes of frantic searching, you close the lid, panting heavily. It's time to admit you have a problem. Oh dear. A lily necklace. It's empty, but you notice a little hole in the back of the box. The view from there isn't too bad either. The view? Oh, hey. Is there something in... Is still something in here? Nope. Oh dear. Is that it for this area? Seems to be. Is that, is that where I just came from? I think so. So is it this? Like, there's only going to be a fishing spot here. This is the way I came. There's definitely a bigger area. So me thinks we are coming back. Just that case of light, I don't exactly know where I am. It's empty. Yeah, it wouldn't be in this predicament if someone hadn't taken what was inside. Well, no, but... Then what's the point in being a chest if no one ever takes the items contained within? Just saying. Just saying. Okay, let's see here. You are in my way. Can you just remove yourself from the premises? Somehow I'm back. So yeah, we're going back there later, aren't we? And it's going to be where that road was. So we'll be seeing that, I'm sure. Okay, so it's just straight line now. Wow, I like the music. Right. Kitty! Welcome to Rinon General Goods. The fog may still be terrible, but we're sticking it out to serve our customers. Please take a look over everything you like. Welcome. Please feel free to look around. Morning, Estelle. Fog's still dense as a wall today, huh? Oh yeah, I I'm sure you've seen her, but... There's a girl working outside, right? That's Kitty. She's helping around the store for now. 
Well, it's basically a short-term, part-time job until the schedule line has resumed service. She told me she sells tea at the Capitol's department store. That explains why she seems to know everything about everything and anything about tea and snacks. She's got a good sense of product displays and selecting accessories. More than anything, though, her bright smile and the efficient way she does deal with customers is amazing. A bright smile, you say? It begins. What was that? He certainly works like someone from the Capital Department store. Kitty's very good at her job. He's gonna fall for her. Kitty's going to be working in the store from this point forward. I can hear her cheerful voice from here. Feels nice to have someone like her around. It's like... Yeah, it's like, she stopped looking, and then Kitty turns up. It's like, you don't care, and then Kitty turns up. It's like, Kitty's story is brilliant. I, I like her story. It's clearly where it's going, and it's gonna be lovely. Hey, good morning. Well, sort of good anyway. Fog's as dense as ever. Seems like in some places it might even be worse than yesterday, huh? Man, oh man. When will the blue skies return? Fog's nasty today, too. The fog outside's as bad as ever. I've lived here a long time, but I've never seen anything like this. I came to get photos from my trip developed. Can't go anywhere thanks to the fog, so I figured I might as well look over my photos. There's a lot of things that make great photos here, like Roland's Clock Tower. In this weather, I'd basically just be wasting my photo quartz, though. Uh came to get photos from my trip developed. Look, we know thanks to the fog, so photos, yeah. I've done the Bracer Guild. Good morning, Elka. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Hey, everyone. Uh, yeah. At it bright and early, eh? Yeah, seriously. I wish I was still in bed. Well, given how late you stayed up, it's no surprise. Oh. Time to show off how tough a brace it can be to your subordinates. Luke and the others' condition seems stable for now. Hope they wake up soon, but us fretting won't make that happen faster. You all better not overdo yourselves, okay? If you collapse, we won't get anywhere. We'll be fine, don't worry. Even Estelle's an experienced full bracer now. <laughs> well, still got a long way to go to compare to Shara. <laughs> You've still got the energy to compliment your superior, then you should be fine. Well then, good luck with your investigation. Uh, we're expecting good news. Yes, leave it to us. Good luck with the investigation, but don't overdo it, you guys. If you braces collapse, we won't get anywhere. Too true, too true. I should see about equipping Shira. Yes, 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 yes. Dune. I really should actually. I'm thinking about it. It's like the like she, she's so good at attack magic. It's like that's just gonna make her so overpowered. It's like I like the ADF, the speed, the agility, the movement, but the Dudun. It's just that it takes you up to 501 ATS. That's the thing. It like takes it all the way up to that. So it's just that case of like she'll be very very overpowered. Give that to you. Oh, yes, 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 definitely give that to you. Um, go right with everything else. Oh, good morning. You're all up early, aren't you? I'm sure things must be hard investigating this case, but don't ever do it. You collapse, uh, I, I, I just couldn't bear it. I'll take care. I'm sure things must be hard investigating this case, but don't ever do it. Let's, let's go this way. Start at the church, sort of thing. The chapel. Huh? Stell and Shara? Bunch of braces operating together this early in the morning? Aha! Uh -huh. I smell a case. Can't just stand here. Time for Claire to get the scoop. Bunch of braces operating together in the morning. What's that? Aha! Uh -huh. Something's afoot. Like, she's my prime suspect at the moment for the Grandmaster, I'm telling you. She knows too much. 
Oh, hello. You're certainly out and about early. Unfortunately, I haven't found any clues in the texts I have available. I have studied medicine to care for the mind and body, but there are still secrets hidden all across this land that even I have no knowledge of. To me, the followers of the Septuagint Church, the truth is yet distant and shrouded in darkness. For us to reach that answer, I must redouble my efforts. Unfortunately, I haven't found any clues. I am so embarrassed, Armand. Who knows who could be watching? Am I? Come closer, Ellie. I want to see nothing but your smile. That was it? I expected more from those two, like jeez. Father Divine was up all night researching to try and find something that might help. I tried to keep offering up prayers for as long as my will would hold, but... I eventually fell asleep, and when I came to, it was morning. I have a long way to go, if I'm to ever match up to Father Divine. As a sister of the church, I need to do my best, too. Oh, wait, stairs. Stairs, please. Stairs. Come, come now. Come, come. Out, out, outside, out. Dear God. Who knew it'd be so... Chaotic in here. No one making any tea? I feel like these guys need some tea. Lita's has always been so energetic, so I thought when the morning came. It was a faint hope. Reality is not so kind. I'll keep watching over Lita, so. Everyone, good luck with your investigation. You are my only hope now. Where's he, where's he wandered off to? Where has he wandered off to? Uh -huh. The fog has gotten even thicker than last night. And that much is certain. Still, I have heard your group will help evacuate those in the countryside. The city will be patrolled by army forces very soon. But the more remote locations will be defenseless. Please, get them quickly to a safe location. Rostel knows these roads like her own backyard. Well, then I ask that you do be very careful. But the fog is dense as it is. It's almost impossible to see. We'll do our best. As we can, anyway. Right, so, hotel next. Kitties. That's the same as before. Why, hello again. I'd like... I'd like to again... I'd like to you again for your help yesterday. The weather's awful today, too. That's why this old lady's relaxing at home. Mm hmm I've got to work hard to think up names for the kittens. This old lady's not sure where to start. Jeffrey. Valimar. Pink one. Good work on your patrols last night. I look forward to your future patronage. I don't know where I got the name Valimar from. I think it's something to do with Lord of the Rings. Like some ancient city or something like that. And Daddy went off to see how the airship plays us. I'm in charge of the room till he gets back. Hmm. Calvert spies are everywhere, getting in my way again. No. I mean, sure. I was trying to speak to them. Where were you two yesterday? Ah, how terrible. To think someone so lovely had such a secret. Can't carelessly invite her out like this. Curses. I don't know if the lady really matches Anton's fever dream of an ideal girl. Get more out of watching the pigeons, if you ask me. I'm serious, too. Pigeons are good people. I'd get tired of watching them birded up. I don't know if that lady really much is fever dream, okay. The fog's thick as milk again today, too. Don't know if it's my imagination or not, but the clock tower's bell chime is getting worse and worse. It's all muffled sounding. 
because of this dawn fog. I think it's having an effect on my voice as well. There's something strange. It's like I, I, I can hear myself speaking softer. And I don't know why. It's not by choice. I just am. Is it the fog? That is very weird if the fog's doing that to me. I just try and force it back to how it was. Yes. <clears throat> no, it's that I just I just slip back to this. It's just it's just slightly softer, it's just strange. Oh my. No passenger ships today either. Shouldn't be surprised, the fog is even worse today than it was yesterday. No, not today either. Oh, I guess I need to contact my wife again. Oh no, the ships haven't resumed service yet. Apparently the airships are still aren't in service. Nothing for it. I'll have to go back to the hotel again. I should have a look around town first though. Maybe I can find a nice shop. We're very sorry, but airship service has not yet resumed. We thank you for your continued patience. As a representative of the Labeur Orbital Ship Company, I offer our sincerest apologies. We do not have a date when the service will resume. We're very sorry, and we thank you for your understanding. We're having the Linda fly an alternate route through the other four cities. I haven't modified a flight plan like this since the Sky Bandits were a serious problem. Okay, who else is around? Alan's got a real hard time for it for once. He's going to have to spend most of the day dealing with passengers instead of hitting on them. Oh dear, it sounds so horrific. He has to do his job. Oh no. I was wondering if he was still staring at the tree, but no. But no. Oh, we can actually go this way? Alright then. I kinda wanna see if we can go all the way to the mine now. Should we go to the mine? It's not really matter, we need to go all the way up there anyway. Alright, I'll look at the map in the top right instead of the fog. Otherwise I'm gonna be running into everything along the way. Amalgam mine is that way, okay. Still went straight out. I don't know. I saw the red dot and was like, yeah, let's go straight out that. That one was that I was trying to avoid it, but it did not go my way. Not at all. Hey guys. Right now your bracer buddies are inside getting everyone evacuated. We saved our hides. Now we can get back to town. Stell? Shirazad? What are you doing here? Were you heading for the farm? Uh, we were just on our way. We split into groups for a reason. These people need help. They're your friends, right? Hurry up and get to that farm. Understood. Livia and Zin are rounding up the miners. You guys get to the farm. Fine. Kinda wanted to tell- I always wanted- this is the thing, because of my knowledge of Cold steel and stuff like that, and like things to come. I constantly want to keep bringing Estelle along. Like, pe people like her, uh, it's uh, going to be interesting people later on, is the best way of putting it. But also, people I've not had experience with, so it's like this is why I keep wanting to go with like Shara and Chloe and not Tita and not Agate, because I experience them later. But obviously, there's a lot of reasons why I'm leaning towards using Olivier, because how his story progresses, you know, plus he's just a fun character. Like, I don't think anyone minds that. No, no. Hey, good morning. All the crew's been on standby in the ship this, since this morning, and now are eating and sleeping in shifts. Then just come to the bar on my own because I'm captain. Mm -hmm. There haven't been many customers this morning for some reason. I'm sure those folks from the airship will be back at some point. They're all stuck and don't really have anywhere to go. To go. It's time to shine. But food and the power of alcohol is at least something of a distraction from the troubles outside. Hardly any customers this morning. But the folks from the airship will be back at some point. I'm just thinking, like, the food is right here. It's just left out for him. He's not here. 
Hey, the funk's pretty bad today, huh? It may have made you worry last night, but Tabitha's the same as ever. According to Father Divine, her situation's stabilized. Right now, all we can do is watch over her and wait. Just snoozing peacefully without a care in the world. If you haven't had breakfast yet, eat here. You're pretty popular, you know? Oh yeah, you're the only cafe slash bar in town. You would be. Oh, hey guys. Mom hasn't changed since yesterday. If you find anything out, let me know. I'm going to be with Mom today, so... Looks even denser than it was yesterday. Am I? Be -be 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 -be. Luke, it, it's morning. Come on now. Up with you, young man. Are you going to leave an old woman in the fog like this? Pat's here, too. You can go out and play like always. Come, Luke. Wake up now. Please. Aww. Patsy, you can go out and play. You should leap out of bed on hearing that. Oh, Estelle. It's morning, but Luke still hasn't woken up. Doesn't seem like he can hear Maggie either. It's kind of funny, though. Luke's got... He's got a really happy expression, even though he's asleep. But he's having a really nice dream. Luke would. Pat went off to check on Luke as soon as he got up. I know he's worried, really I do, but didn't even stop for breakfast. I'm worried he'll make himself ill at this rate. Just hope what happened to Luke doesn't happen to him too. So today is the day they signed the non-aggression pact. Should be a day to celebrate, but the city's engulfed in this damned fog. Especially with what happened to Luke, it's hard to be in a mood to celebrate. Should be a day to celebrate, but it's hard to be in a celebratory mood. Enough to check on Luke as soon as he got up. Let's hope what happened to Luke doesn't happen to him too. Okay, very well. Getting stuck on things. Daddy always leaves the house so early. Try to get up early, but I never see Daddy leave. Hmm. Look at the fog. It's terrible today, too. I'm worried about my husband. Was he able to get to the mine safely? I hope he didn't get lost. Was my husband able to get to the mine safely? I hope he didn't get lost. I'm sure he's fine. The fog seems like it's even... Deeper? Denser would be the right word. Denser than it was yesterday. Barford is still asleep too. Hope nothing more happens. Dear Adios, please deliver us. He came today too. Redford's still out like a light, I'm afraid. One silver lining is that he seems to be having some real nice dreams. Given the expression on his face. Hmm. Radford sure has a happy expression on his face for a man out like a light. What kind of dreams he's having? His eyes seem wide open. Kind of creepy. But yeah, that's... That's a repeating pattern now. Hmm. Papa's a meanie. I'm not going to talk to him again. This morning I found Uni breaking the rule as I sat and going outside. When I realized what she had done, I'll admit I lost my cool and raised my voice to her. If it's about Uni's safety, it's not like me to forget myself like that. Uni may hate me now, but I don't know. Uni seems to be avoiding me. If it was to keep us safe, yep. The whole situation is depressing. Yeah. I think we can all relate to you at this point, can't we? We can very much relate to that. Alright, so I think we shall end this part here. And the next part we shall proceed onwards to the farm, but we need to... Oh. Didn't mean to do that. So I was trying to avoid risking starting a scene. Yes, so we'll head over to the um, bridge and then over to the farm. Assuming we can, obviously. You know, scenes could start along the way. So we shall see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.